The first major study of hydroxychloroquine as a treatment for COVID-19 found it did not protect against the infection. The malaria drug has not only been touted by US President Donald Trump as a solution to treat COVID-19, but also one he said he took himself. It is uh, a terrible virus. It's a terrible thing. And a lot of people are taking it. A lot of doctors are taking it. A lot of people swear by it. University of Minnesota researchers tested over 800 people who had recently been exposed to the virus or lived in high-risk households and were given hydroxychloroquine. The high-profile study found nearly 12% of subjects given the malaria drug developed symptoms compatible with COVID-19, compared with 14% who got a placebo. The results showed the drug was not only ineffective at preventing the coronavirus, but it was in fact no better than a placebo. The trial's lead researcher, Dr David Bulware, said, quote, Our data is pretty clear that for the post-exposure this does not really work. The trial also found there were no serious side effects or heart problems from using the drug. Despite the US Food and Drug Administration cautioning in late April against the use of hydroxychloroquine in patients with heart disease, some European governments have already banned hydroxychloroquine for COVID-19 patients, and US hospitals have significantly cut back its use. Vocal support from Trump kicked off a heated debate and raised expectations for the decades-old drug that could be a cheap and widely available tool in fighting the pandemic that has infected more than 6 million people worldwide. In the background, the World Health Organization is also continuing its own trial of hydroxychloroquine.